The Philippines is a maritime nation, blessed with over 36,000 kilometers of coastline. But with this vast expanse comes the challenge of defending its territorial waters, securing its exclusive economic zone, and responding to natural disasters. To achieve this, the Philippine Navy needs more than just ships. It needs versatile, highly capable platforms that can dominate both sea and air. This is why the Philippine Navy is setting its sights on the S-70B Seahawk helicopter. The S-70B Seahawk is a multi-mission naval helicopter designed to excel in a variety of maritime operations. But why is this aircraft crucial for the Philippines? And why does the Philippine Navy want it? Hi, welcome back to our channel. Before we delve deeper and proceed, if you are new to our channel, welcome, enjoy, and subscribe. Do you want to get informed about the latest news and updates in defense here and abroad? Then hit the subscribe button and like our video to get updated here in Defense Forces Insight. If you already subscribed to our channel, sit tight and enjoy our video. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks. Let's start. The S-70B Seahawk is a multi-mission naval helicopter designed to excel in a variety of maritime operations. But why is this aircraft crucial for the Philippines? And why does the Philippine Navy want the Seahawk ASAP? Let's talk about the S-70B Seahawk. Based on the United States Army UH-60 Black Hawk and a member of the Sikorsky S-70 family, the S-70 is the export version of the UH-60 Black Hawk. The S-70B is the naval versions. The most significant modifications are the folding main rotor blades and a hinge tail to reduce its footprint aboard ships. The S-70B is mostly used on cruisers, destroyers, and frigates. Surface warfare and anti-submarine warfare are the S-70B's main roles. It has a sophisticated sensor system that includes air launch sonobuoys and a towed magnetic anomaly detector, MAD. The ALQ-142 ESM system, the APS-124 search radar, and an optional forward-looking infrared flare turret located on the nose are additional sensors. The S-70B can also carry MK-46, MK-50, or Mark-54 lightweight torpedo, AGM-114 Hellfire missile, and 1M60D, M247.62 mm, 0.30 in, or GU-16.50 in, 12.7 mm, machine gun installed on the cabin door, are among the weapons carried. The S-70B isn't just about undersea threats. It's also a powerful tool for anti-surface warfare. With its ability to carry and deploy air-to-surface missiles, the Seahawk can engage surface ships, defending the naval fleet and keeping Philippine seas safe from hostile forces. First and foremost, the S-70B is a world-class platform for anti-submarine warfare, or ASW. In a region with growing submarine activity, particularly in the South China Sea, the Philippines needs the capability to detect, track, and neutralize submarines that threaten its waters.
The S-70B is equipped with state-of-the-art dipping sonar and sonobuoys to locate even the most elusive submarines. And when the threat is confirmed, it can launch torpedoes to take action. This capability is vital in a time when undersea warfare is becoming a key part of modern naval defense. Effective defense is about more than just reacting to threats. It's about knowing where and when those threats emerge. The S-70B is equipped with advanced radar and surveillance systems, allowing it to monitor vast areas of ocean for suspicious activity. Whether it's illegal fishing, smuggling, or an approaching threat, the Seahawk serves as the Navy's eyes in the sky. And by integrating seamlessly with our frigates and patrol ships, the Seahawk acts as a force multiplier, extending the reach and capability of the entire fleet. The two Resol-class frigates are equipped with two AW-159 anti-submarine warfare helicopters, which are the Philippine Navy's primary ASW helicopters. Additionally, the Philippine Navy is going to need another batch of ASW helicopters when they commission two Malvar-class frigates next year. While the Navy is already exploring other options, an additional ASW helicopter is currently in the works to meet the two Malvar-class vessels' immediate helicopter needs. According to Defense Military Analyst Bones QPH, there is a possibility and already an ongoing discussion regarding part of those 32S, 70I ordered might be slated to the Philippine Navy converting them as an ASW platform. However, the contract only covers the 32 utility helicopters. This means that additional funds may be required to convert the S-70I units into ASW helicopters. The Seahawk costs more than its predecessors since it has a number of extra features like larger braking rotors or electric drive system blades for the shovel collection. The Seahawks engines are specifically designed for naval usage, with particular treatment for operation in high salinity settings, a local probe for refueling, and an emergency flotation system. The landing gear is shorter. Additionally, the S-70B is a shipboard aircraft designed to enhance the capabilities of the anti-submarine ships in which it is deployed. What do you think of S-70B Seahawk for the Philippine Navy? Do you think it's a wise move for the Navy to convert some of the Philippine Air Force S-70I Black Hawk into S-70B Seahawk for the two upcoming frigate? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed and learned from our video. If you want to watch a video informative like this, click any of the two videos that will appear before this video ends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.